Cancerium. Okay, sorry about that. I wanted to get my angel cards because I haven't read with them in a long time. Cancerians! Hello! What's going on with you today? All right, so we are going to be doing the Cancer reading for Ju oh, July. Okay, baby, this is still June. This is still June. I love you all, Cancers. I love how warm you are. I love my cancer mom too. Yes, I do. I have a Scorpio mom and a cancer. That's so odd that my closest friends would be water signs. That is odd. Now that is, oh, they have a lot of air in their charts. Okay. All right. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, I have a cancer friend. I love very much. Her birthday is coming up. I don't know when it is. I'm not good with birthdays. I'm in orange moon. Reflecting the light of the stone. Cancers. Ooh, three of earth cancers. Okay. So you guys are really going to be... Well, I interpret this card as you using your God-given skills and business acumen to create a revenue revenue for yourself. You may use your own creative gifts and talents to be recognized for very high quality work. That's what the card says on its own. This is the power. So some of you are creative artists. You could be artists or you could be using your own um, skills your own self-taught skills in some cases right or you could have gone to school to learn how to be a beautician or you know esthetician and a um, you know something like that maybe it could even be a dental assistant whatever the case is I see that you're going to be building an empire and I mean an empire because you've gotten some shit together. Like when you get to the three of earth, whoever this is resonating for, I like to say, you know, it's not going to resonate for everybody. And so that your feelings won't be hurt. I say it's entertainment purposes only in case it doesn't resonate. And then you get your feelings hurt. Okay. Okay. So, but anyway, so some people that this is resonating for who are being entertained by this, you know, they are really getting themselves together. You could be getting a website together. You already have a website. You are getting business cards together. You already have a business. You already have business cards if that's appropriate. Maybe this stage of the game you don't really need it. But whatever the case is, I see you being recognized for very high quality work. And people are going to recognize you as being a team player. You can read it for yourself. So that's at the heart of the next two week, two weeks, okay? So you're going to be working using your creative gifts and talents to earn a living for yourself and building a name for yourself. And people are going to recognize whatever this work is that you do, whether it is um, at corporate America, because three of coins could also be like architectural work. So you could be doing blue, uh, white collar work, blue collar work. But a lot of times it's just for creative artists. But it's, you know, I want everybody to be included. So you may be at a job and your work, it will be recognized for very high quality work because you ain't messing around. Okay. So what's crowning you is good news about money. I know that's right. It almost made me get up from the damn table. Okay, so we have the page of earth that is crowning you, all right? And read what it says at the bottom. Good news concerning money. Good news about financial matters. So I feel like you are going to be working hard and you're going to be seeing the dough. Many of you, all right? And some of you are going to want to do something more challenging, or this may be something that is challenging to you. And I see you may go into a new area of study, like maybe, let's say you're a makeup artist and you've been accustomed to doing maybe 
black people faces and now maybe you're going to be doing white people faces makeup artists okay or maybe you know I just see you expanding some way somehow the next two weeks but I see a perpetual inflow of money for some of you and there will be a lot of good news <laughs> about money back-to-back -back six of water is supporting you so um, this is this could be something that you've been doing for a while but the six of water is here and it basically talks about memories from your history or childhood issues regarding children romanticizing the past okay so that's at your foundation the six of cups some of you could be around siblings some of you could be having um, uh, the Six of Cups is the Sun in Scorpio, so you could be having some really good sex outside of a committed relationship. <laughs> hey, baby, whatever blows your hair back. All right. So some of you could be getting um, some sex, right? And, and it said that the good sex might be propelling you to work better, work harder, work smarter. Can I get a amen? You say, yeah, girl, if I just had somebody to do it with, baby, I ain't a miracle worker. But you can order a wand, baby, and do... Uh, okay, all right, I'll stop. I'll stop, okay. Okay, so what's behind you is the Three of Cups here. Yeah, so some of you could be lightly dating or kind of maybe you might have somebody that you really care about, but it may not be a, um, a monogamous relationship right now, at least not within the next two weeks, okay? Or um, this could just be talking about you having some children issues, friends, but um, memories from childhood could be coming up. Or you could just be of doing, doing what you're doing now for a very long time. But anyway, I see that there is some type of celebration that has just passed, okay? Some type of wedding, graduation, birth announcement that just recently passed. Um, okay, and also it talks about that, you know, I know you're working hard and you're using your gifts and talents to benefit greatly, um, your finance, to benefit your finances greatly, but down here on the card it says there's a need to have more fun. Let's see, is it going to, yeah, at the end. All right, and so you could have been having fun lately. Okay, so this is what's coming to Cancers. Whoa! Whoa, the queen of pentacles. Wow, so you're gonna be meeting a businesswoman. Okay, this could be, the earth sign could be Vedic or, or Western sun, moon, arising or any strong planetary placements of a Virgo, Capricorn. I wanna say Scorpio out of nowhere, so Scorpio or Taurus, okay? And um, this person means a lot to you. And you're going to be making time for those around you in the near future, the next two weeks. I see you taking a very sensible approach to your work and a very sensible approach to financial matters and difficult baby business or money matters, right? I see you dealing with challenges that you have um, in a very kind and understanding manner. But more than anything, the Queen of Pentacles talks about, you know, money coming to you and being on top of your game if, in fact, this is uh, the energy. If this is a person, let's see. Let's just get some clarity on the Queen real quick. Okay, yeah. So um, it's both. It's, it's saying that, again, you're going to be working hard, getting good money, as a result of working hard and then you go from the page to the queen so some of you are going to go from twenty twenty dollars an hour to a hundred and twenty five dollars an hour okay maybe you're a reader and used to charge twenty five dollars for a reading now you're at you know maybe i don't know thirty five dollars or fifty dollars or something like that but and it looks like you're going to get it i'm just using that as an example honey i i don't know okay maybe you used to cut lawnmowers or do hay uh, put a perm in somebody's hair and you were at $30, now you're at $55. You better ask somebody. Go get you some chitlins and sit on down somewhere. All right. <laughs> Why it gotta be chitlins? Okay, what if I was an Episcopalian and I just ate fish? Okay. Now, what would that mean? All right, Cancerians, this looks pretty good. So some of you are going to have to get an attorney for something. 
all right are you there might be some legal work that you need to do you may be waiting to hear from some type of there might be some type of settlement that you get all right so if those of you who are not working right they're just getting ready to get some you something happened with you that created some type of good news regarding money and with this lawyer card here in the queen of coins next to you you're going to be getting a settlement if that's what you're looking for okay otherwise i do feel like there was some type of cutting off energy that took place either through like legal means there's been some type of cut off of communication all right you're coming in in the next two weeks as someone who's going to be speaking their mind with confidence. You are, you may even seek out some type of professional advice. Okay. And I see you really balancing your emotional and mental considerations. But you're coming in chopping something off. Right? You're coming in as the king of swords. So you could be an attorney. You could be working with an attorney. Some of you could be getting a divorce or you are divorced. You could be separated from a significant person. Some of you okay, are coming in maybe wanting to, like you're swinging the sword around. Let's see why. Um, the Ten of Cups. Let's just lay the next two cards out so I have a better understanding. This is the second time I got that answer because this is the like third time I've done this reading and both times the answers were uh, the Queen of Cups as the answer. So I feel again you're going to be getting some good news about money, maybe legal things, all right? I feel like there will be a very strong family presence the next two weeks. You'll see your family more. This could be extended family. This could be family that um, you were born with or family that you go and create. But I see that there's an extended family around you, very strong. And as a result of that extended family, your finances could have increased. See, you could, the three of coins could talk about a rental, renting out rooms. It's basically using your own gifts, talents, and resources, I should say, and resources or something that's self-motivated. You know, like I know someone who tripped and fell and she sued, you know, but those were resources that happened on her body. And this is her money coming in and she's a cancer. OK, but for the next two weeks, I see the ten of cups for you. All right. The next two weeks is the ten of cups for you. So some of you could be actually celebrating your birthdays the next two weeks right and some of you're gonna have really big birthday parties some of you might get a surprise party all right I know I know I messed it up but I see a very contented and rewarding family life you could be surrounding by surrounded by your sisters um, your posterity your parents whatever I see your emotional and material needs are met in the next two weeks your emotional and material okay your emotional and material look at that money coming in all right some of you are going to be dealing with a businesswoman or a businessman like you may get some work from your own gifts and talents you may be a freelancer okay and there's going to be a really steady um, gig that comes in okay and if you're not a freelance yeah you might be a freelance photographer you can be a freelance um, computer person engineer but I see that you're going to be coming out of maybe working for a friend to maybe working for a corporation or working for a business woman or a businessman who's at the top of their game all right and you could just be this businesswoman or businessman that gets on the top of their game but more than anything I feel like what's outside coming in for you is a really contented <clears throat> what's outside coming in for you is a contented and rewarding family life a contented and rewarding family life and your emotional and material needs are going to be met also you're going to be blessed with trustworthy relationships. People who, if they say, Cancer, I'm going to be there at 5, they're there at 5. Okay? Really good stuff, Cancers. Your hope and fear 
for the next two weeks is the nine of cups so you have some wish that you want to come true you want your concerns to fade away and you want to love you want to have a, a, a strong love of life but also for some reason you fear it right also this is the card of unexpected events so in the a card I mean this is the placement for unexpected events so one unexpected event that's going to happen is that some emotional wish is going to come true something that you really want to happen is going to come true for you okay and then your final answer cancer is you the queen of cups don't start don't start the final answer is the queen of cups which is you and this card is talking about relationships developed to new levels all right whether this is a professional relationship or whether this is a relationship with your art or a relationship with your finances your relationships are going to move to a new level trust your intuition and care for yourself and others you guys hold on who is it hold on you guys i'm not going to stop recording I was almost at the end anyway. So sorry, you guys. I am not recording this. This is my third time recording you all. All right. Your answers, Cancerians, is the Queen of Cups. So either this is a woman that comes into your life that um, really helps you to become, you might become very patient and tenderhearted and loving with somebody at work or people around you you are just i just feel like relationships whoever you're going to be in a relationship with whether it's with your work your friends your family i feel like relationships are going to develop to a new level okay new level of relationships and they're telling you to trust your intuition this next couple of weeks Ooh. And I see you caring for yourselves. I see others caring for you. Now, the Queen of Cups also talks about being in love, right? So some of you are just gonna feel a wealth of love, maybe for a Libra, okay? Since we have the Two of Swords here. But what I basically see is you getting good news about money money coming in your family life is going to be really good you are going to be coming in cutting something off or having some legal problems um, that you need to deal with or like there's something that you're going to be cutting off maybe a professional relationship an intimate relationship you could be leaving cable companies <laughs> i don't know but i definitely feel like you feel like there's some unfair treatment that's going on and you need to do something about it by removing yourself from that situation you could have a libra gemini or an aquarius on your mind okay but i feel like you're gonna really be in love and um let's just see with that yeah i feel like you're in love with maybe somebody who you're feeling um like you just had to leave okay they gave you no choice because it was i don't know i just kind of see you rather leaving a building where there's shelter and being out in the cold than to deal with whatever bullshit is behind that building that's pretty serious right so i see some of you um you know moving on 
or trying to move on but you're kind of you can't quite move on because somebody you're stuck on somebody or somebody is stuck on you so in some cases I so in some cases I see that um, those are the people who clean up I forgot that they came on Thursday mornings but um, see I don't want to tell them to be quiet because I don't want them to think I'm being mean but um, okay so anyway basically cancers what I see is that you are in love but but I see that you're gonna be holding on to this love and not quite letting it go I see you still want to fight for it and what we're going to take a look at now is um, how this person sees you okay and we're going to be taking a look at how this person sees you and I might have to let them know that um, they have to be quiet. All right, so let's take a look at this person who you're in love with, Cancer. Those of you who this is resonating for, how does this person see you? Hey, you guys, I'm recording upstairs, okay? Do what? I I'm recording upstairs so I can hear you, okay? Okay. Okay, sorry, sweethearts. Just talk a little softer, please. Okay, so Cancers, what we're going to do now is um, look at how they view you. We're going to look at how they view you, okay? This is how your person views you. So it looks like you're in love with somebody or you definitely care a lot about someone. You're definitely in love with someone, definitely, and, or someone is definitely in love with you. And then whoever this person is, that you're in love with, let's take a look at how they view you for the next two weeks, okay? And we have let go of control issues, how do they view you, and healing family issues, okay? So they feel like you're going through a lot of healing right now, and that the healing that you're going through is allowing you to be a lot more easier to be around, and that you're not being controlling of the relationship. But it's what they're saying here is that your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And this also means here that uh, you are allow this situation to unfold naturally. So somebody feels like you could be blaming them for people who you had that treated you a certain kind of way before, okay? So they could be feeling, somebody could be feeling like you're blaming them for things that they had no control over. All right, I don't know where that came from, but anyway, let's look at, let's take a look at how they are viewing you, okay? This is how this person is viewing the cancer. This is in their eyes, this is how they're seeing you. Your person that you're in love with kind of feels like you can be a little on the controlling side, of course, because you're a cardinal, okay? So, but, they kind of feel like they want to take over sometimes and they can't or that um, that maybe it's kind of hard to reach you okay and they feel like those issues come from your family issues or maybe because you were married before or you had somebody there before that did you wrong and so now you I don't know okay but they just want you to allow the situation to unfold naturally. How do they feel about you, the king of pentacles? How do they view you? They view you as somebody who wants to have a long-term relationship with them. And they also view you as somebody who they have a very strong sense of commitment and duty towards. This could be a Taurus. This could be a Virgo or a Capricorn. Okay? A Taurus, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, and they view you as someone who they want to be committed to. And this could be anybody, though, okay? Because, like, for instance, I, ha I know someone who's married to an Aries, but what she doesn't know is that her husband's moon is in Capricorn. I know that. She forgot, all right? So, but this is somebody who is coming in as wanting to commit to you as well, and somebody who is committed and dedicated to the, the longevity of this connection. That's how they're viewing you. The chariot, um, they see you for who you are, right? They see all of your great qualities. They see your bad qualities, okay? You know, um, a lot of times we have the, the courses that are moving in opposite directions, you know, and cancers move sideways. 
They know your moves. They know your positive qualities. They know your negative qualities, right? And it seems like this person has what I would refer to as an unconditional love for you, right? But um, in some cases, we have the chariot with the nine of coins instead of with the ten of coins. So it's like some of you could be in situations where somebody wants to be indefinitely like they want you there indefinitely but without a commitment okay because we have the chariot moving on with the nine of coins which is somebody who is single so they see this this person can see you as like a friend with benefits in some cases okay um but others of you i see this person sees you as somebody that they want to conquer right like they want a commitment with you and you guys have a challenge with you. They're challenged by you and they want to conquer the cancer and get you out of this single mode in order to be in a commitment mode. So some of them are challenged by you. But how your partner views you is somebody who they want in their lives for a long time, who in some cases they're not in a monogamous relationship with. Even if you guys were married, you know, somebody is kind of seeing this as other people are in this equation. Okay, this was similar to the Virgo readings. You could be dealing with the Virgo sun, moon, or rising, or any other type of virgin planetary placements. So your person, the person that you're in love with, is also, I would say, dedicated to you too. Like, look at how he's looking at you. Look at, how, look at the intensity of how this king of coins is looking at you. This could be any sign. Like, he's not going anywhere right but then he's not staying either because the chariot is next right or you cancer may not be staying in this situation one of you it's like you guys have an understanding with each other it's like this relationship both parties understand where the other is coming from there's an understanding here and um so I feel like this person is kind of like down for you with the next two weeks, but they're not maybe like down for a commitment at this time. Okay, let me just clarify this card real fast, what we have here. Yeah, the six of cups. So yeah, somebody um, may want may see you as a long as somebody that they deal with and and are with for a long time. But for whatever reason, you guys like don't get married or you guys don't turn this into something exclusive. But you can't quite seem to leave each other alone. Is what I'm seeing here, and I'm seeing that both of you could possibly be, be in each other's lives for a very long period of time. But for somebody in this equation, dealing with this person um, results with you being single, even though they're with you for long periods of time. Like they can be with you for 10 to 15 years, but there's something about this that makes you feel single or they're with you and they have somebody else that they're going to be with for 10 to 15 years or something crazy like that but that's just for the next two weeks this is how this person is thinking you know um and that's just for some of you okay so now others of you your person is seeing you as somebody who can be a little controlling and who has a lot of healing to do who they love very deeply, but like they just can't quite see themselves being committed to you because they feel like some of you may be just a little too controlling, okay? Now, others of you, I'm trying to include everybody. Now, some of others of them feels like maybe your ex really did a number on you, and so now you don't trust anybody, and they feel like they want to commit to you, but you got some stuff that you need to work out for a while and be single. But like when that stuff is ready or when you're at a different place, they're ready to pick up the relationship and move forward with you. We have to see. There's all kind of scenarios here. Okay. But yeah, somebody is just kind of waiting for you to deal with some anger left over from the past relationship so you can direct your attention to what you guys are trying to build and move forward here. Others of them think that there's just somebody who's just way too controlling and that you control them by your um, presence or by your absence. And because of that, they don't want to fuck with you. 
like they feel like you give time or you use silence in order to control them and they feel like you're not wife material because of that that's others now some of you are married to this person and you're getting ready